Hi guys and welcome to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Drayton Park Golf Club. I'm in my swing studio and what I want to cover today is reducing the upper body movement, the sway off the golf ball. So it's trying to keep you a little bit more centered. Came about with this video really because I was just filming a video talking about reducing a sway or a slide off the ball with your lower body. And I really think the main reason the head tends to shift too far away from the ball uh, or the target tends to be more when the lower body is moving. So I will put the link from the last video into this one. Please check that one out first. Uh, if you haven't already, it's got some real relevance to what we're obviously going to be discussing today. What I'm going to show you today is a couple of range exercises uh, or practice area exercises that you could do to try and stay a little bit more centered with your head so there's less shift off the ball almost that we're a little bit more lasered uh, over the top of the ball with our head. So uh, the first exercise I was really thinking about here and a real simple one to do uh, on the range or the practice areas to set up and I've got a, a mid iron here so I've got a seven iron which I'm playing from the center of my heels roughly. So you can see this orange line pretty central under my sternum. And again, my head starting over this point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my lead eye. So my one that's closest to the target. That is my left eye for me as a right-handed golfer. I'm going to be closing my left eye and I'm going to be swinging and trying to hit the ball. And I'm just trying to keep sight of the ball with my right eye. Uh, with my trail eye because if I move if I close this left eye and I move too far off the ball all I can see now is my nose blocking the ball I cannot see the ball because you'll have seen from this view here I'll tell you at what point I lose the ball so I can see it obviously here if I'm shifting off the ball I've lost sight of it around there so if there is excessive movement again there off the golf ball with my head with my upper body or a slide away from the target I've lost sight of the golf ball. I think it's perfectly uh, acceptable for our head to be shifting half a head's width back away from the ball as we load up pressure into our trail foot. But I have not got there by swaying off the ball. My hips and my shoulders are rotated on this tilted axis. Okay. And I don't mind a little bit of movement off the golf ball as long as it's not excessive. Because here I've loaded into my right side and I'll find as I start the down swing, you can see my head again gets more centered over the top of the ball. For those who are trying to keep their head no movement whatsoever, that's great. But you do need very good rotational speeds with your body, so with your hips as well as your torso rotating towards the target. Some of us need a little bit of movement off the ball, but some movement is fine. Excessive movement, a sway off the ball, really causes some major problems with contact, with strike. So I don't mind doing that exercise. Club across my shoulders. Again, close my lead eye and just turn. I'm behind the ball, I've loaded my right side, but I can still see the golf ball here. So you can see there's some movement, but not excessive movement where I've lost sight of the golf ball. Let's go ahead, I'm just gonna click actually so you can see the flight. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit one and try and do it with my lead eye, my left eye closed. So I'm trying to keep sight of the golf ball. Close the lead eye and go for it. Slap bang, middle strike, and nearly landed on the line. It's probably the best shot I've hit for the last month or so. Actually, that was uh, that felt great. That felt really, really solid. I managed to see the ball the whole way. You'll have seen from the face on camera that my head it might have moved a little bit right. It might have then moved a little bit left to centre over the golf ball before starting to move outside of that circle but there wasn't excessive movement off the golf ball. So that exercise, that drill works really, really well. Um, look at those numbers in a sec. Oh, I should have to look at them now. Five degrees down, three degrees into out. My club face, two, two and a half open. So perfect recipe for a nice draw. 
uh, which is what we got. So great, happy with that. The other exercise, um, and you all have probably seen this one before. Uh, I'd seen this um, actually on uh, Rick Shields, uh, his YouTube channel before. So it's it's not a new exercise. I'm sure Rick, Rick had picked it up from someone else, but a good one you can do on the range. I've just, a bit of a blue peen pleat a moment. Here's one I made earlier, but just pushing a uh, tour stick through a range bucket. You can just do it through the ground and you're just going to put it in front of the ball that you're going to be striking. So excuse me as I go a little bit out of shot here. So, I'm trying to line it up so the cane is over the top of the golf ball. Um, so it, the ball is underneath the cane by about a club head's width or so. The back edge of the cane as I'm looking at it is the back edge of the golf ball. Okay, so if I move that onto that line, it doesn't want to sit on that line about there. That's what I'm looking for. So it's just sitting. The cane is the back edge of the golf ball. If it wants to stay there, that will do us. And the idea is that I swing, and I can keep both eyes open this time. I swing and I keep it in that position. If I excessively move off the ball, the line will move to the centre of the ball, or worse still, if the line moves to the front of the golf ball, almost in front of it here. So I'm trying to keep the line almost on the back edge of the golf ball as I swing. And it doesn't get in the way. I could probably move it just a touch further forwards there. Let's give it a go. Let's try and strike that. Just thinking about it, guys, it can't go too far over the golf ball or we're more likely to hit it. So it's just over the top of the golf ball. It's not too far over. There we go. Perfect. Let's hit one more doing that exercise. So the ball's pretty much underneath the end of the stick. I'll show you from this angle as well. Set up to the ball. I'm trying to hit the ball, but keeping the ball or that line on the back edge of the golf ball. So I'm not excessively moving off. Another pretty solid shot. Uh, just stayed out right, didn't draw back, but felt good. Numbers, I think, were pretty good. Didn't feel like my head was moving too much. That exercise, the cane on the range or just in the ground, uh, just over the top of the, the golf ball and the back edge, trying to keep your head relatively centred. Works great as some range exercises, trying to make sure there's not excessive movement this way. I tend to find it's... Excessive upper body movement is really a result of poor lower body dynamics. So we, again, want this lower body rotating, not swaying off the ball. I don't, don't mind, as I said in my other video, this trail leg starting to straighten as my hips rotate. I tend to find swaying movement comes from when we're trying to keep too fle much flex in here and moving off the golf ball rather than rotating. Give those couple of range exercises a go. They give you a great indication of how much movement there is in there. If you enjoyed the content of the video, give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel for all the other content Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.